Let's start the introduction to Spark with Java API. Fine. We have seen lot of things in the Spark by using Scala and Python API. Till now, this is the new API we have to be learn along with the Spark and Spark Components web series. Spark with Java API means I can also use ja Spark environment spark components by writing the programs in java programming language i can also use my java object oriented knowledge to be write my spark program and execute a spark requirements spark transformations and actions with the java api only fine we people know what is the importance of spark and all things the spark also accepts the java api let's take it out what are the things we have to learn with respect to the java api i just am in the java programming guide from the sparks i am in the spark dot apache dot org sparks official website and here i have it is those people are giving some encrypted guide something like summarized guide information how to write java programs in spark by using sparks java api application programming interface here the main thing about the java programming guide are something these kind of illustrations we have to be learn major things is the java the sparks java api defined in the official package called org.apache.spark.api.java fine from this java we have to be ink we have to be execute some of the key files and moreover however we have running in the spark in the spark we are running with the spark context yes or no spark context object is very important in the spark and in rdds creations and kind of things i are executing a transformation and exists in the same file in the same meaning in java also has its spark context that is java spark context we have to get the spark context object from the class java spark context fine and here along with the java spark context we have java or dd classes also there what is the purpose of java or dd however we use java spark context to initializing the spark and its component we are using java or dd to create the or dd in our java api from this java api we can create the distributed data set resilient distributed data set which has the fault tolerance and which is distributed among the cluster the data set the data entity creations we are happening we are creating with the java rdd classes within 2 to 3 minutes itself i will show you the syntax how to write a java how to create a java spark context and how to load the data to our java rdd and what are the key differences in the java api particularly if you want to be learn means the java does not support anonymous or first class functions so what we have to do is we must implement from the existing java api functions we must be implemented from existing java api functions the functions are very similar to in the the org.apache.api.java is the official java api in spark here we have one function we have one function in the function we have the function and function 2 classes are there the purpose of function and function 2 will be implement the functions fine like we have lot of transformations and functions are there like we have the suppose in there we have the flat map and map kind of transformations are there but if you want to be extend those functions in here we need this function and function 2 classes help fine that is the first difference and the second difference is 
in some this scala kind of apis we directly stored our key value pairs in the rdd classes rdd variables and it is but here we have to be initialize that variable that key value pairs as under java pair rdd we have to be clearly identify clearly we have to be show it as we have two things are there java rdd java pair rdd java rdd means it can take only the single entity value only value type of values it will take it out suppose we want to store textual data or kind of things we can use java rdd but the advantage of java pair rdd is we can store key value pairs at a time fine this is additional implementation we have java pair rdd and normal java rdd and if we think about some of the rdd methods like collect and count by key these kind of things we don't we have the suppose collect is a default return type as array type count by key is default implementation of map type in the scala also in the same kind of things in java also the java collection type the list java dot util dot list will be returned from the collect method and java dot util dot map type of data it is sent to the count by key method in the java rdd is same thing like we have the true implementations there we have abstract implementations and the final difference the major i am talking about the major differences as part of the sparks apache concern key value pairs must be written in the terms of key values in the scala okay by using the, but here what we have to do is we have to be create using our own things like tuple2 class fine we have to instantiate tuple2 and key value if you want to be store key value kind of things we can have to be instantiate we have to take the help of tuple2 class same thing we have to be understand little bit little bit we have to changes are there if you look about some of the examples you can easily understand the scenarios if you think rdd classes we have java rdd java pair rdd java double rdd we have multiple things are there here fine we have additional operations of rdds of key value pairs and doubles why means if you want to be instantiate the values suppose reduce by key join these kind of things will automatically take the values from the key value pairs and doubles like java pair rdd java double rdd fine these classes fine this variable this kind of rdds if you want to be store and means if you want to be overloaded the specialized method the method is call kind of the call is a default method that is there in the pair function double function fine if you want to be encrypted data through java pair rdd to the R java pair rdd we have to be use the class called pair function class and if you want to store the data to java double rdd we have to be use double function class and what are the functions are there here apart from these functions we can apply remaining things like that i am saying what are the functions are there here check out the major function classes to be implemented as part of the abstract methods and and scenarios of the sparks java api all the function classes have the one abstract method that is call we have one common abstract method is there that is call through the call method only we have to override the logic through the call method only we have to override the logic
If you look up what are the function classes are available in Java API, Sparks API means function. Fine, double function, pair function, flat map function, double flat map function, pair flat map function, and function two. Based on the things we have to be use, function two will take two arguments t1 and t2. Fine, remaining each and everything will be taken as a one value itself. The only function two will take two values, two parameters as the data, and remaining pair function will take one value and one key. Both it will take it out with the help of tuple two class. Fine, like that we can perform the remaining actions. Let me take. If you have gone in detail, you can check the levels. And if you point out the storage, how the storage happens at the storage levels means the index, the defaultly it will take the storage type as memory and disk. If you want to change the storage levels also, we have given the storage levels. Spark dot API dot Java dot storage levels class. We have storage levels class. In there, we have the methods like storage levels that create kind of methods are there. So you can define your own storage levels. Fine. Normally we are not creating. If you want, also you can create your own storage levels instead of memory and disk. Want only memory or you want disk or something based on the things you can maintain it. And the Java API also supports the sparse remaining features, the most probable features, sparse features like accumulators, broadcast variables, how to create a broadcast variables, all things we have seen. And with the Java variables also we can do it. We can create accumulators. We can make use of broadcast variables. And we can catch it. We can catch it. The data means we sometimes we can store my data into the our catchy memory. Catching. We can catch. We can perform the catching operation also with Java API. Fine. The the similar example program I have given here. They have given. You can understand the the syntax and layout of a Sparks API. Java API. Java. First of all, we have to create a Spark context object. Fine. Through configuration object, we have to create configuration with the Spark conf. Here they didn't inform. They didn't give any information. Fine. Basically, we have to be give. We have to be implement Spark configuration object. First of all, if you go on here means the first thing is we have to be create. Spark context and RDD as part of Spark context. Fine. We have to be create Spark conf. From the Spark conf, we have to be create one. Spark configuration object. Fine, and we have to create Java Spark context like this. Spark Java Spark context is equal to new Java Spark context. Here we have to pass the configuration object. Then I am loading with the variable the lines. Okay, lines is the RDD name I created. I create. I am creating Java RDD with the lines. In the lines, I am copying the. I am storing the my all my data to our textual file. By using textual file transformation, I am loading to the lines data. From lines, we are applying the. I want to divide into a words. Again, words is also Java or data I have taken. If you want to be split the data itself, what I am doing? Check out. First of all, we don't have the, for implementing flat map kind of things. We are implementing flat map function class properties. That is iterable iterable class. That is iterable uh, return value. That is the method name upshot method is cal. The call function we are overloading with the arrays dot as list s dot split. What I am going to do is I am splitting based on the space as a delimiter and s means our normal variable. 
our lines each line each string line we are divided we are splitting and we are keeping storing to the array and these array we are returning to the our lines so the lines the words the words may have the number of words again we are we can perform the word count kind of scenarios we can apply i will tell you the remaining program word count kind of scenarios we can apply these are the examples for further reference you can also check out the java documentation complete java documentation here they have provided and some of the examples also they have provided so in my in, in uh, let me execute one java project java program then you can get an understand of complete scenario